What's up, family? Man, um, I've been sick as hell for the like, last few days. It's Friday morning, um, and today's like the first day that I feel halfway decent. Um, Sunday, man, I could hardly walk. My body was aching, chills, fevers. Man, it's, it's been a heck of a battle, you know what I mean? It's been a heck of a battle. Family, I don't want to get caught up into whether it was COVID, whether it was not COVID, the the stupid arguments between all that stuff. You know what I mean? Don't get distracted with the stupid stuff. Don't get distracted with the stupid stuff. Whether it was COVID, whether it was regular flu, whatever, it don't matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? It don't matter to me. That that's petty. That's ignorant. That's ignorant. And, and I say it's ignorant because. I know me, I don't get sick. I don't get sinus infections, I don't get colds, I don't get allergies, I don't have migraines. I don't do any of that stuff, I don't have those things. It's been years since I've had any of those things. Years. And for whatever reason, this, come, this past Sunday, man, <laughs> it caught me, you know what I mean? It caught me. And it's good though, it's all good. Stay with me. We're going to go somewhere. I say this a lot. In every situation, there are lessons to be learned. In every situation, there are lessons to be learned. The great majority of us don't learn the lessons. We get distracted with the circumstances. We get distracted with what's going on. We get distracted with how we feel. And we forget about the fact that there are lessons to be learned. Understand that this is probably not going to resonate with all of you or with everyone. Um, some of you is going to piss you off, you know, and I understand that there are primarily two groups of people that watch these videos, you know, those that the videos resonate with and then those that are the haters, you know, and the haters are watching to see what's being said. You know, the haters are watching because the haters want to see you fall. The haters want to see you get set back and all that other stupid stuff. You know what I mean? It is what it is. And family, man, you got to grow up. The great majority of your haters are in your quote unquote blood relatives. I'm going to say that again. I don't call those people family. They're, we're just blood relatives. That's it. I have family members that I could, that are friends that are my family members that are closer to me than my blood relatives. And I'm not discounting all blood relatives. I'm just saying that maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my life, my lot in life. You know what I mean? That my blood relatives suck. You know what I mean? They do, man. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. We have to grow up and we have to understand what it is that we came here for and why we go through what we go through. And understand, and, and family, let me pause for a second. Stop being so s s hyper-spiritual. Stop being so hyper-spiritual. I understand energy. I understand energy. And I know there are those of you that think, oh, well, you can only get sick if you're on a low vibrating frequency and woo doo woo Man, shut the hell up with that bullshit. Shut the hell up with that bullshit. Family, you have to understand that sometimes life just happens and it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with what frequency you run. It has nothing to do whether you're a good person or a bad person. It's just life. It's just another test, another obstacle. Another way for you to show your, gr your growth and development. Another way for you to show your gratitude. Yeah, I, I see and I hear all these people talking all this super spiritual religion crap about, man, you know, you can only go through this. And if you're going through this, man, something's wrong with you and whoop de whoop de whoop. Man, you must not know your Bible. You must not know your history. Just because something bad, ha quote unquote, bad happens don't mean that you're a bad person. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I'm reminded of Job. 
Job didn't do anything wrong. Man, every one of his kids got killed. Job didn't do anything wrong. Man, he got struck down with sickness and illnesses. All his cattle was killed. He didn't do anything to deserve that. All he did was have faith in God and live a righteous life. It wasn't about Job. And see, that's what you got to understand, family. Sometimes the tests that you go through, the lessons are for you, but they're also for your enemies. I'm going to say that again. It's something that God just showed me. Sometimes when you're going through what you're going through, when you're going through your pause moment, and we get so distracted with that pause moment, we can see the hand of God in our lives. We can see God blessing us and God doing all these great things for us. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it seems like something bad happens or it seems like I take five steps backwards. You, you know what I mean? And, and if we're not careful, we'll misconstrue, we'll misunderstand what that pause is. We see now God's just been blessing and God's just been moving throughout the whole year. All the things God's been opening up for us, all the doors, everything he's been doing, just miracle after miracle, blessings after blessing, blessing upon blessing. You see that, you know that, and you get so comfortable, so relaxed, and you're so excited about it. You're grateful, but you're, you know what I mean? It's just like, oh man, you expect them now, you know what I mean? And that's nothing wrong with that. But then all of a sudden, God takes a pause, and that pause is not that you're bad. That pause does not mean that you've done something wrong. That pause does not mean that you're arrogant. It does not mean that you're, you know, God's punishing you. And that's what your ignorant haters want to say. That's what your crazy relatives, blood relatives, want to say, oh, yeah, I knew he wasn't all right. And look, that's why this happened. And that's why this happened. We'll do it through. Man, those things happen to everybody. Those things happen to all kind of people. But you have to understand something, family. So for me, this sickness, this for you, it may be a loss of a job, it may be a loss of, loss of a relationship, um, loss of your house or business or whatever the case may be. Your circumstances may be different from mine, but it's the same stuff. You, you know what I mean? The situation is different, but it's the same thing. And so for me, this, this sickness, this illness, man, it, it had me jacked up, family. It had me messed up bad. I'm like real bad. I couldn't eat really anything. Um, man, I could barely get up, barely get up. And I mean, I needed help to get up and to get to the restroom. Uh, man, I couldn't wash myself up. Man, I couldn't do anything. You know, I'm, I'm just being real. I, I was broke down. And man, it 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 took me, you know, it took <laughs> Man, they had me on the mat, you know, I was ready just, man, I'm done, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm ready to go see my mom anyways, so go ahead and just end this, you know what I mean? I'm just being real, I was, man, this stuff had me messed up. And what God had to show me was that, hey, even in all the stuff that I was going through, I was sitting there and I was just smiling internally. I couldn't smile externally, but internally I was smiling, just looking back over my life and just looking at all that God has done for me, looking at all the places I got to see, all the the people I got to meet, you know, all the lives I've been able to impact, all the lives I've been able to touch, you know, I'm just sitting back and just hurting, feeling like, man, I was dying, but yet my mind was on all the people that I'd come across and all the smiles that people had on their face, you know, all the joy that people had and all the stuff, even though I was sick and, and hurt and beat the hell up, Man, I had such peace. I had such joy. You know, it's like, man, if, if it was time for me to go at that moment, man, okay, cool. It, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I, I'm sitting back and looking over my life and it's like, man, okay. If this is how it ends, this is how it ends. You know what I mean? I'm grateful for the trip. I'm grateful for the journey. You know, man. It was a lot of fun, <laughs> you know what I mean? It was hell, but it was a lot of fun too though, you know what I mean? And my mind was such on us, fixated on just being grateful, just being thankful. Man, I couldn't get up, family. Man, I needed help getting out of the bed, but yet I'm laying there and I'm just grateful. Man, I couldn't sleep at night. I'm tossing and turning all night because my body was in so much pain. I couldn't get comfortable. 
no matter what position I laid and I could lay in that position for a couple minutes and then I had to turn because that side was hurting. My back started hurting, my other side started hurting. I was in agonizing pain. I couldn't get comfortable. I couldn't get much sleep. And yet I'm laying there just grateful. Yet I'm laying there just thanking God for the journey, thanking God for the lives that I've been able to impact. And the funny thing is, I'm looking back over my life and I'm looking at my family and I'm seeing how God is showing me. And I'm when I say family with my blood relatives and I'm looking back and I'm like, God, you know what? This has been my whole life. This has been my whole life. People that have always talked about being a ride or die. People that's always talked about always having my back and whoop de whoop de whoop. Man, family, they never really did. They had my back just so they could see what was going on. Just so they get caught up in the latest drama or chaos or turmoil or whatever stuff I was going through. That's all they wanted. That's all the reason why they were there for something free and for the madness. Why? Because of their issues. Because they had unresolved issues. Because they can't stand their life. Because they hate their life. Because they're so frustrated and miserable and just toxic. They wanna see you toxic in some way. They wanna see you messed up in somehow. And so when you're sick or when your stuff falls apart or something don't work out for you or something crumbles for you or whatever it is, some dream seems to shatter or whatever the case may be, man, they sit there and they're smiling to themselves because it makes them feel better about themselves. Stay with me. And so what God was showing me was that, yeah, when we go through these things, when you see the hand of God on your life and you see how he's blessed you and kept you and protected you and provided for you and done all these things, and then there's that pause, you know? That pause is not God condemning you. That pause is not God judging you. That pause is not God turning his back on you. That pause is for a couple of reasons. That pause is for you, but that pause is for your enemies as well. I'm gonna say that again. That pause in your life is for you and it's for your enemies. It's for you because it's for you to show something, for you to sit back and say, man, even through all of this, God, I'm grateful. Even through all this sickness, God, I'm thankful. Even through all the hell, God, I'm thankful. Man, God, I'm, I'm sick, I'm hurt, I'm dying. But you know what, man, I'm grateful for the money to be able to pay for this hotel so that I didn't affect people that I care about, regardless of how they feel about me. You know what I mean? I wasn't, they, I didn't have to be around them to get them sick with whatever I'm dealing with. I don't know what it is, but man, God, I'm glad that I'm able to pay for this hotel so that I didn't have to be with them and so that they didn't have to risk getting sick because I know their immune system is shot. And this would have probably taken them out. So thank you that I've had the money to pay for this hotel room. Man, thank you for this young lady being in my life that's been here with me. That's, man, been my rock through all of this. You know what I mean? That's been there wiping me down and helping me get to the bathroom and getting going out to the store and getting me things that I needed. And just, man, making sure that I was staying hydrated and fixing my teeth and just all the things that she did you know what i mean man god thank you for that person being in my life and so i'm sitting there and i'm just man just just grateful just reflecting on life and just man it's, i'm positive i still got joy i still got peace my circumstances don't define my peace my circumstances and my environment don't carry any weight in regards to my joy man i have joy and peace regardless of the circumstances regardless of my environment and so the other thing that this thing taught me was man i saw another side of this person that's in my life that i wouldn't have saw you know had i not been broken down to this point where i had to completely depend on them See, as long as you're strong and you're, you're vibrant and you don't really need to depend on nobody, man, 
you don't depend on nobody. You don't really realize how much you need somebody in your life until you're broken down and you can't get up and do for yourself until you're at that point to where, man, you can't get up and, and do what you got to do for yourself. And that person is there and they got you. They got you. You know what I mean? Man, that shows you a lot about somebody. You, you know what I mean? Especially when they don't know what's going on with you. They don't know if it's a flu, if it's COVID, whatever it is. Man, they're like, man, I got you. I got you. And you're able to see that and experience that. And that's just another thing to be like, man, God, thank you. Thank you. But the other part of the lesson is not for you, it's for your enemies. And what I mean by that, your enemies, God has given them one more opportunity. God has given them one more chance to get their life together, to get their crap together. And instead of them sitting there and being happy and smiling and getting on the phone with all that yak, 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 all that bullshit and that negativity spreading rumors and all that other stupid stuff happy and because you sick or you lost something or what are you going through whatever and now they happy about this shit and they yak 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 and talking down on you and all this other stuff right god has given them the opportunity to humble themselves and say dang you know what that could be me instead of me being happy for this person going through what, I'm, through what they're going through instead of me sitting there smiling instead of me sitting there and spreading lies and rumors and all this other stupid stuff and hating on this person instead of me putting salt on this person and whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop, instead of me doing all this stupid ignorant childish crap man let me grow the fuck up and be about my business let me grow the hell up and recognize man i've been a fucking kid let me grow the hell up and realize that, man, I've been acting like a damn retard. This person is good. Here it is. They're going through something. And instead of me trying to help them, man, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing at them. I'm, I'm, I'm happy they're going through it. And it is what it is, family. They got another opportunity to get their shit together. And instead of them taking the opportunity to get their life right, they are continue on that cycle of their negative ways and it is what it is that's their lot in life that's their journey and that's their karma that they're gonna have to deal with but 2022 and what god was showing me in 2021 this was one last test that we had to go through one last test for me to see who's on my side one last test for me to see who's real in my life one last test for me to see who really has my back and who really don't one last test because people that say they care about you and when you're going through the whoop and man you don't hear from them your phone dry they ain't texting they ain't calling and they ain't checking up on you they ain't doing shit because they don't give a damn they don't give a damn and it is what it is they happy you going through it and that's okay because you understand man this ain't nothing but a g thing you know what i mean i've been through worse i'm gonna come out of this and that pause, understand that pause. And this is one thing that God had to show me. That pause was not so much God punishing you. It's none of that stuff, family. It's the blessings that God has for you in store for you. That next level, man, it's like archery. You know, I, I love martial arts. I love bow and arrows. I, I love all that stuff, right? So there's a term um, in archery, you know what I mean? And it's when you move my coffee mug, my tea mug, I'm sorry. That pause, what God was showing me was he's pulling me back, right? And so while he's pulling me back to the outside, to the ignorant, to the naive, naive, it looks like, man, you're taking five steps backwards, man, you're going backwards. Man, God was doing all this stuff for you, but yeah, the real is coming out. Look at you going backwards now. Look at all this stuff happening to you. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. All this stuff is going wrong. And whoop de whoop do Man, you're going backwards. 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 And God is pulling you backwards. Why? Because and that's that pause and you're going backwards. But you're not going backwards, family. He about to launch you. Let that arrow go. And you're about to fly. 
But in order to fly, he has to pull you backwards to launch you to that next level. The blessings that he has in store for you, he can't just get to you right now on this level. You've got all the blessings that you could get on this level. So you gotta go to another level. And the level that you're about to go to, it's not just one step, it's not two steps. You can't take no elevator to that next level. Man, you're about to get launched to that next level. And that's what the pause is. That pause is you going back to get launched forward. But see, your enemies don't understand that. Your enemies look at it as, oh man, you ain't shit and you ain't doing nothing and whoop de whoop de whoop, all that other foolishness. And it is what it is. That makes them feel good about themselves. That makes them feel good about themselves. And if they happy, man, okay, cool. I'm happy for them. You know what I mean? But don't misunderstand the pause in your life. Don't misunderstand the fact that you just went through the last test. Don't misunderstand the fact that you just passed the last test. Don't misunderstand the fact that through all of the hell that you've just gone through, you were grateful. Through all the hell that you've gone through, you were thankful. Through all the hell that you've gone through, you kept your peace of mind. Through all the hell that you've gone through, you kept your joy. And that's something they can't understand. People can't understand that. How the hell can you be so happy? How the hell can you have so much joy? How the hell can you have so much peace? And you're going through woo doo woo woo and you da 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 Man, because of who I am and because of who I'm connected to. You hating and that's okay. You don't understand me. That's not my problem. That's not my issue. That's not my issue. But I feel sorry for the hell that you bought to catch in your life. The hell that you've been catching in life ain't nothing compared to the hell you bought to catch in your life. Because you won't grow up. And it is what it is. I'm, I'm not speaking bad on anybody, family. I'm, it is what it is. You know what I mean? We all have our own journey to walk in. Man, you choose to live the life you choose. You know what I mean? And your haters chose the life that they have. They had more than enough opportunities to make things right. They've had more than enough opportunities to get their crap together. They didn't have to do you the way they did. They didn't have to ghost you and ignore you and blow you off and treat you like you was shit and whoop de whoop de. They did you like you wasn't nothing. They talked about you like you was a thief, like you was like the worst criminal. It is what it is. You've endured. You've passed. You've passed. You grew through it. And through it all, you remained humble. Through it all, you remained grateful. Through it all, you remained and kept your joy and kept your peace of mind. You kept your connection with God. And that's the only thing that is giving you that peace that's the only thing that is giving you that joy it's launching season it's launching season and everybody man this ain't your season you ain't about to launch this season but for those of you that just came through the fire for those of you that just came through the water man it's launching season you've passed the test the final test of this year 2022 man we're blowing up and while we blow up remember who you are remember that man you have to stay connected to god remember that you you know in order for you to keep that peace of mind and that joy you got to stay connected to god remember it ain't about your enemies and it's weird because I don't think that I have any enemies. I know I do, but how, how do I say this? I don't see them as enemies. For whatever reason, they act like I'm their enemy, you know, by the way they act. And it is what it is. I love them all the same. Some of them I don't want anything to do with, but I love them the same. My hope and prayer is that you understand the pause in your life. The pause is not judgment. The pause is not your failures. 
the pause is not anything bad. It's a time of reflection. It's a time of excitement. It's a time of giving thanks and being grateful as you're being launched to a whole new level. I love you guys. Happy healing and happy New Year's. Peace.